Christmas Village 2021 full tutorial series. If you are deep into Christmas Villages, sooner or later you will face the fact that buildings, figurines and standard accessories are not enough to satisfy the needs of your vision. So you start using the styrofoam panels or whatever material you prefer in order to add levels and multiply the points of view, but it still won't be enough. So you think, maybe I should make some mm, street furniture, and make street furniture, some handmade stairs, some handmade bridges, but it still won't be enough. So you think, okay, found it. I will develop even more different type of stairs, I will add walls, I will add arcs, I will add all kind of architecture. But it is still won't be enough. <laughs> okay, a lesson learned. I will try to develop something different, something bigger, something more elaborate, more complex. But don't think it will ever be enough. Because this amazing, fantastic, uh, healthy sickness will always push you over the edge of your abilities. While I'm still working on the um, wall and a couple of arcs there, <laughs> but don't worry, I'm not yet at the painting stage, I really need to start thinking about the stairs I need to make in order to grant access to the sea level, the docks level, to people coming from the first level here. But nothing new there, I already knew all the dimension, all the measurements. And 8 centimeters of wall starting from the border, then 11 centimeters of arc, then another 12 centimeters of wall, then another 11 centimeters of arc. So I think I can quickly find a solution for the stairs there. And a few minutes ago, I finished taking dimensions of the seaside portion of the sea section there, all along this line. And okay, I also marked a perimeter there. It's representing a lighted building perimeter, obviously, but the building is not there simply because I still needed to review it. Uh, it is a rare item, at least for me. Some months ago I came upon an offer I couldn't let go and I purchased it. It is a building from, uh, uh, from 2003, 2004, I think. So between 16 and 17 years uh, old. Mm, very early stage of Lemax here in Europe, at least uh, in a large scale. And I will be placing it there. So here I have a remaining uh, length of 42 centimeters there, 42 centimeters by 12 centimeters for now, simply for now, because I will really certainly need to go over the edge there. And in 8, I've marked this line here, and this, mar this line here is 19 centimeters, yes, 19 centimeters, simply because this is how tall, how, how high will be the building I will place there, from ground up to 19 centimeters. So if I'm doing a prolongation here, I will, I will really need to use simply those... Uh, uh, 2.5 centimeters of 8 there and I will need to find a solution to get a stable structure uh, in, enough stable structure to support some weight so I will need to think about something but uh, okay uh, I'm not completely clear what I want to do, the, to do there I simply have a, a a start of an idea 
uh, that I need to develop right now. So let me go to work. If I was able to manage correctly the editing of this part 8 of the 2021 series, you should just have finished watching me telling you what are my intentions uh, concerning the long 42 centimeters uh, seaside part of the um, docks section. Okay? I just hope so. So here I have a wild pile, a wild bunch of pieces of styrofoam. Uh, I've already cut them simply because I thought it was too tedious to show you what uh, I always do. <laughs> it is cutting, uh, cutting uh, styrofoam panels. Uh, I have here some uh, EPS panels, this is uh, expanded styrofoam and also my usually um, extruded panels. I know right now in all those pieces have no sense at all, but I hope to uh, show you some progressing in just many many minutes. So, uh, I, where to start? I will start, uh, obviously I have marked them in order to not be confused. I will start from, <clears throat> from here. And my ruler, here I have, uh, if I am correct, I should have 42 pieces of style from there. 42 centimeters by 29, yes, by 29 centimeters with a thickness of five centimeters okay uh, now i will start from here i don't know which side to prefer maybe i will go on this way yes this way okay i will go on this way this will be my top and i will mark it right there as top uh, I will need to mark here 6 cm here I will mark 6 cm ok, there 6 cm now, with that marker I will try to oops, sorry for the noise I will try to trace a straight line here six centimeters and also from the other side so another six centimeters here okay and I will join those two parts there here and there Oh, six centimeters. Now, I have this uh, piece and I've already marked them down, so I will put them in. It is 42 centimeters in length, obviously, okay, 42 centimeters, and it is uh, an almost a cube of uh, uh, two centimeters by 1.8 uh, centimeters, okay, so Eight, it is two centimeters by 1.8 centimeters in depth. Why? Simply because I will use a couple of these styrofoam panels on top of it right there and that's why I need 1.8 centimeters. 0 0.9 plus 0 0.9 equals 1.8 centimeters. Let's add some glue there. Uh, let's have some glue there. Let's have some glue. I just need to mark something here and then let me go this way. Okay, a little secret there. <laughs> it will be clear in 24 hours. <laughs> Joking. Some of my PVC glue there. Okay, PVC glue, my, my brush, my, one of my glue brush there. Okay, and I will go there.
I will go no more further, just there with my market point there, and then I will go the last part here. Okay, now I will place it back there. Okay, and for now, I will forget about it. Good. I think it is good. Uh, let's go with the hardest part here. Here I have some uh, two pieces of styrofoam already glued together. Um, 24 hours have passed since I glued them together. And I have here uh, 42 centimeters by 12 centimeters okay very difficult to do so uh, let's get serious uh, let me mark four centimeters there and let me mark four centimeters from this other side there So I will try to have you updated once I've cut uh, those pieces there. I will go back toward my cutting table and I will update you in just some seconds. Alright guys, um, here is the update. I forgot before to mark the uh, here the part of the arts. So before cutting I marked as I've done with the arc for the uh, in the previous uh, part, in the part 7 of the series, I marked uh, at, with uh, uh, an angle of rotation of 20 degrees each time, uh, each of the part of the arc that would compose the arc here and there. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not went like before with a key of arc bigger, I want it here some more sober, so I will leave it right there. Now, let's take this one and let's check, check sorry, if it fits there. Yes, it fits. I will need to find a way to maintain it there. But okay, I will go with some glue.
dry and I will take this a little strange drawing there but this is nothing else than the pattern of my stairs this will be the pattern of my stairs so this time I will start here and I will try to go as straight as possible so there okay look like this so my first step would be here and I will try to go from there a pure delusion yeah I will deliver my creation the threat from hell that comes to life yeah with the marks of devastation felt today in my sacred life I'll be your grace of liberation got you to Side, and then I will have a little platform that will go here okay and this is another solution concerning your stairs you can go outside the wall then a little turn with a panoramic view from the back then you go inside with a wall uh, separating the external from the internal and uh, and the uh, stairs going outside inside <laughs> Not really, I need to trim it a little bit. Okay, let's check. Yeah. 
Yes. This will be uh, the representation of what I will need to do for improving or for my restyling there and still need a work to do and final thing maybe you remember that in the beginning I left with no glue this part here from that point to that point I will remove this section there I'm going there Why this? <laughs> Why this? And let me add this check. So here I will add some fences, okay? Maybe my tunnel fences. Here I will have some uh, park bench. And this will be the seaside view when it's summer, when it's hot, and when it's not raining. But what will happen when it's raining? You just need to come down here get inside and you will have some more park bench inside I still need to have some uh, street lamp I need to think about a new way of uh, getting them uh, attached to the walls and not standing down I will come to this in some days I think but this is a double function here uh, <clears throat> a summer uh, seaside view and a winter seaside view from inside with the, the, um, the arcade port there, protecting from uh, the weather, from snow, from um, uh, rain, and people still uh, getting the ability to uh, admire the sea in front of them, okay? I will be more clear in just uh, some hours when I will do the final recap of this part eight of the 2021 series, but for now, uh, I think I will stop here at uh, 2 uh, 2.08 a.m. in the morning, okay? And I still need to eat. Oh, yes, I forgot to eat this evening. So um, let's go and uh, clean a mess and see you for something else in I don't know what. Bye. Uh, a little update on the wall here and a couple of arcs. When I am, I think, halfway through, at least in the building process, uh, no, some, a little more over halfway. Uh, let me start by the um, wall here. Uh, this section, you already seen this section when I was building it, and now it's completely dry. Then I added this uh, second part here, and each and uh, every single bricks have been carved by my little hands and uh, so I don't think I have a brick or a big stone uh, similar to another there and from this other side too I can show you here hope you can see that this side here I have some uh, different uh, bricks and different uh, um, pattern here and there okay so I thought why not having this all as it gets through the years a big cannon shot in plain middle and it written down everything and now I have this situation but um, I also uh, finished the second arc this is the original arc uh, you have seen me uh, build and this one is the second arc uh, let me just compare them okay uh, they are as similar as possible uh, I knew I couldn't have the same exact result but in eight they have the same height there 
okay, almost the uh, same uh, dimension. Um, then what I did also, I marked some more uh, lines, some more bricks or stone lines here and there. Uh, they will be more evident to, uh, once I've painted everything. Now I will need uh, to do this. I will uh, place uh, one art there and one art here before continuing with another. Maybe it was this side here that I used. No, it is this one. Okay. Uh, I tried to go as close as possible between the walls there. Uh, I know you aren't seeing anything. Maybe I will do something I can't. No, I still don't. I still don't have the ability to do that. I really need to do an update. So this will be the first part. Then I will go. Uh, let me slide there with another. Uh, Part of wall there. It all depends on the rest of the restyling I'm doing. Now what is important to do is to uh, fill the gaps, at least one I can show you I think. I have those little gaps between the, uh, the arc and the wall that are forming right now because I haven't glued them together from the beginning because I didn't know exactly what solution I will have adopted for the stairs. Now I yeah, have clear in mind what uh, I want to achieve so I can uh, glue them together in order to have uh, uh, much less uh, gaps between the arcs and the wall and before painting everything because I don't want any gaps in between. Uh, okay, so uh, I will proceed one arc at a time and I will use my um, polymer uh, glue there, okay? in a different way, turned or uh, rotated by 90 degrees in just uh, oh, the next time. I will do a little update on this and uh, so I proceed once all as dried as cured I will proceed with the remaining section of the wall there. So see you for something else in just some seconds. Thanks. <laughs> well guys my latest creation has finally dried and I've removed all the pins that were maintaining everything squared. I will not describe it further right now, simply because I reserve that for my final recap. I will talk instead about this portion here, especially the inside portion of the uh, protected of the covered porch there. In a few days, I will surely have uh, it's completely covered by another level because I will need at least one more level on top of this one. So what will happen, this will be completely closed and no light will be present inside, exception for the light that will filter through the arcs coming from the outside. Not enough, especially because I want to have some figures, figurines inside it. I will, uh, I would like to have some figurines coming in and getting out of the porch section there. So I'm in real trouble if I don't find right now a solution for 
uh, lightning lights uh, because for the outside part I can manage something later because this will not be closed by anything but the inside will be closed maybe you remember that last season I transformed this useless plastic or plastic street lamp in the new version of my street lamps okay with the LED inside etc maybe I will link in the description and down below uh, the tutorial I made about it but if I take this street lamp here and I place it right there first thing it is too tall okay it is absolutely too tall okay second useless to have uh, uh, a street lamp like that inside um, inside a building <laughs> and even if it is not completely inside because this is a porch in reality okay but I needed to find another solution I pre-made something here I uh, took a couple of my plastic uh, useless street lamps and I've made uh, I've cut them, yes, obviously. Uh, I prepared them with some iridescent uh, um, silver paint inside in order to reflect the light. And then I've also prepared two LED with some plus uh, positive, green, and negative wires. Okay? So green, is, uh, green wire is positive and white wire is negative. Uh, <laughs> Yes, okay, good. But <clears throat> I also have <clears throat> those two, <clears throat> sorry, those two small uh, L-shaped uh, plastic tubes. Very useful in my case. Why? Because I will measure them. Then I will try to have a wall-mounted street lamp, <laughs> wall-mounted light okay and i will probably use them right there once everything is built so i have uh, five arch i will place probably one in the middle here one in the middle there okay in order to have at least uh, one and a half from each side are covered by the light all right uh, so how i will proceed right now i will Firstly, first I will um, finish uh, assembling um, those uh, components here, then I will measure everything and place them inside. <laughs> second one to right there okay I think uh, they are almost at the same age I think okay so from the distance uh, from the distance you will see both of them and they will make light okay okay 
uh, yes, I I could switch them on, but you already know that they work. Uh, this is just uh, another piece of the puzzle that is getting together. Uh, not gluing them, I will need to paint them and then proceed. But here I have a solution. Maybe I will put a, a couple more of them from the outside here, one here and one there, okay? Uh, I still don't know because uh, with the, those one, the, cable, the wires will be completely invisible. If I place uh, one here and one there, um, I don't know if the uh, wires will be completely invisible and a street lamp like there will, will ruin completely the view of the porch there. So I think one there and one there, okay? In order to complete. So I will have some more light, okay? Uh, see you for something else, guys. I don't know, maybe yes, maybe no. Bye-bye. It's time for some painting on the wall and on the two arts there. So I will start with the black, the darkest color possible. Then I will go with some lighter and lighter color. Uh, a little difficult here because also you have some vertical parts there, but uh, let's go, okay? And I still not have finished there. I need to check the overall result of the colors before continuing. Let's go. PVC glue and some uh, polymer glue also there uh, so I had to do three three layers of black and some parts are still visible some white parts are still visible but with the um, mix of water and black you can't obtain much more than that you need plain solid color in order to hide everything but what uh, uh, I needed to mark with black is marked, everything is dry. Uh, so now I will start with a mix of uh, white and gray. After another hour, I think, yes, the gray layer is done. I fast forward to this point in order to let you see, okay? And, okay, 
Uh, it will be more clear when I will uh, do the final recap, but this is uh, how it ended up with just the uh, grey. Uh, as always, I'm not finishing with the grey, I'm doing some, a little bit of uh, brown here. This is the result after some brown and some uh, sienna, okay? Uh, different colors added here and there. I don't like having the same color all over the place. Now, as always, I will finish with a touch of dry white brush. I'm done okay so black gray uh, brown sienna and white and this is the end of the painting here for the wall I still need to add some more wall there now I will simply cut everything I don't need anymore and uh, see you for something else, maybe. I don't know yet. I still miss the stairs that will get the people from the first level, the level with the wall and the two arcs, down to the sea level, the docks level, the pier level, okay? So I will try to do it. Here I have a very large variety of pieces of styrofoam. Uh, all of them, the majority of them have a width of three centimeters uh, made of uh, nine millimeters 0 0.9 centimeters and a length that may vary between four centimeters and 14 centimeters and then I have this key piece here that is uh, here three centimeters three centimeters but here is six centimeters and this will be the K, the trait d'union between one side of the stairs and the other. Then I have those other two pieces of styrofoam. They have a mate of 5.4 centimeters, sorry, 3 centimeters in width and 14 centimeters in length. And I have two of them. Those two pieces are the only one that are EPS, so this is expanded styrofoam. All the rest is extruded styrofoam and the total length of the stairs will be 36 centimeters so 12 centimeters here 12 centimeters here and 12 centimeters here in the middle let's proceed okay I will start with the those piece here okay my glue
case is all for this uh, for this addition there I still need to paint uh, a lot of things I need to paint a lot of things because before the end of this part 8 of the uh, 2021 series before the end okay the end of this part and only this part and see you for something else bye <laughs> welcome to the final recap guys here is the final result almost final result of the wall and of the arcs you have seen me building it and painting it and this is uh, the result there okay with the painting done etc and of course obviously from the other side too okay and then i've also painted the <laughs> stairs there uh, you have just seen me build the it dot uh, paint it but it's my standard painting some black uh, gray um, brown and a dry white brush there and i also oops, i also applied a texture there okay let me remove it and i will show you the texture there in plain light there so i wanted some contrast here because when i will add the background like that i wanted a contrast between the stairs and the walls of the stairs and the background wall there i will use this wall here downstairs so down to the um Dox level, the peer level, so here it is the result. I just printed out uh, a wall pattern, a very old uh, pattern with uh, some blue, red and white. Uh, and then I will glue it where I haven't painted it. And this is the painting of the, of the stairs. Okay. And it will be, oops, it will be there. Okay. Still need to glue everything there but and this is the result there okay and then here from the distance there okay from the distance there the main structure i built uh, during this part eight of the 2021 series guys and I painted the two uh, one mounted uh, lamps there. And here we go with the nun inside it, okay? I have also applied another kind of uh, texture, of wall texture. And then on the floor, my general, my usual uh, floor texture. I've used plenty of times in the, along the years. And from the other side there, uh, the, the wires that I still need to uh, to connect it to the sector, but anyways, and a couple more of uh, um, wall mounted uh, lights because I think I will use them there one on this side here and one on the other side there. Uh, <laughs> wiring will be a problem, uh, I don't want to think about it right now. And the inside there, from another angle, you can see that. Uh, I have the inside and the external stairs there. So here I, I still lack the platform here, the big platform there, and then the stairs, tap, 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 getting down, then a turn, a U-turn there, and then from the other side, okay? And then from the eight there. So uh, people will get here up, 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 then turn there, and then the final steps here, up, up, up. And these will be covered, oh, I also told you that. And another level uh, <clears throat> coming from the roof there and towards the uh, rest of the, um, of the layout there. So most probably these uh, stairs won't be there anymore because I will need some passage there, I will need connection between those two parts so these will not be there maybe here maybe i will slide it a little more towards the center or maybe on from the other side 
but I will, uh, <laughs> anyway, I will grant access to the ZERT level there in any way, okay? Uh, and for the, <clears throat> what I added also, I added these uh, 30 more centimeters of, uh, mm, <clears throat> sorry, the camera is not in focus. Okay, now it is in focus. I've added these 30 more centimeters there in depth, uh, another piece of uh, styrofoam panel there. And I have three more super brackets uh, underneath the panel. And uh, this is the prolongation uh, I was talking to you about some hours ago, for me at least. And there the, I will place the, um, the old building. And then maybe I will go and have something more here, maybe a prolongation of the piers here. I don't know, maybe some more pier there. Mm. Details, I still lack a, a huge amount of details. Um, it's not right now, the time of adding details, but this will obviously not be the final result. I still miss a lot of things there. And I also need to have here uh, all the um, bricks um, uh, drawn with my pencil and then painted everything, then some other things here and there. But uh, for today, I think it's enough. Uh, the rest of the layout is unchanged, untouched. And guys, I have problems with the color of the end rail there. Sincerely, I can't get <laughs> with it. Uh, most probably in, I don't know, maybe in part nine or in part 10, I will repaint everything, not the wall there, but maybe the balusters and the end rail. I, <laughs> I can't get in line with this painting there. It's, uh, it's bothering me. So maybe um, a restyling, a color restyling, even that. The rest, I won't touch anything but the entrail and the uh, steps and uh, everything else. I will probably need to repaint it. Very difficult because now everything is uh, stable there. So I will have to paint it right there. I don't know. Problem. So I think I've told everything I've made all along this uh, uh, part eight. A final view to the ruins there. Okay. And there I went, as you have seen, with the black, then gray, then some brown, then some sienna, then some uh, dry white brush. Okay, see you in just some seconds for the outro, guys. Thank you. I know precisely what the majority of you out there are thinking right now of this building here, that it is too big, too exaggerated for my layout here or any other kind of layout. But please, guys, don't forget that we are used to dimensions dictated by Christmas Village items producers. And those producers need to follow a certain amount of rules. Otherwise, their products won't fit inside standard packaging. They won't be able to ship them out of their factories. You won't be able to buy them or transport them easily towards your homes. So please, because something has never been produced before, or you have never seen it before, it doesn't mean it is wrong for my or your layout. <laughs> okay, yes, maybe you are right when you are thinking that I still don't know the outcome, the final result of this building and if it will be in harmony with the rest of the buildings and the rest of the layout. <laughs> but just remember that also this is just the beginning because I need to add at least one more floor on top of this because the main section there will have the standard, my usual standard background but here I won't be able to do another level and I won't be able to add another type of background so I need to do a trick in order to not disrupt the, the point of view, the main point of view of the camera that will film everything. So my trick is to have the tallest, the biggest building ever done. One more level, one more floor, yes, maybe two. I need to go gigantic. And maybe I also know what you are thinking, that I planned this three, four months ago because I left. Uh, from the beginning, this section here, when I was doing 
the sea with my silicon sealant. <laughs> no, not, not precisely. My first intention was to add more buildings, to add three, four, five, maybe six buildings there. But then I thought, because I follow the flow, the building flow, as I already told you, why not having, yes, one building, but I need to make something crazy and add a gigantic building there. So I went for it, and my instinct dictated that. And I went with my instinct. So please, guys, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English, and if you wish, see you next time.